This short video is designed to give a brief outline of the war conducted on the Eastern Front by the Central Powers, Germany and Austria-Hungary, against Russia. The German and Austro-Hungarians were the main rivals of the Russians, and all three powers had devised plans in the event of war. Austria-Hungary's Conrad plan aimed to invade and occupy Russian Galicia, what is now part of Poland and Ukraine. To assist the Austrians, the German Schlieffen plan aimed to advance into Russia from East Prussia. Russia's Plan 19 involved an invasion of both of these areas. A flaw in the German Austro-Hungarian plans, however, lay with the assumption of a slow Russian mobilisation. By mid-August, however, more than 1.4 million Russian soldiers had been mobilised under the command of Grand Duke Nicholas, a cousin of the Russian Tsar. These were grouped along the border of German East Prussia and Galicia. The Russians began a two-pronged advance into German and Austrian territory. Between the 25th and 30th of August 1914, during the Battle of Tannenberg, 21 Russian divisions faced 13 German divisions. General Paul Hindenburg, assisted by Erich Ludendorff, encircled and defeated the Russian Second Army. During the battle, the Germans suffered 10 to 15,000 casualties. The Russian dead and wounded numbered 50,000 and over 92,000 Russian prisoners were taken. In Galicia, four Russian armies attacked the Austro-Hungarians in a series of battles we now refer to as the Battle of Galicia. 53 Russian divisions fought against 37 smaller Austro-Hungarian divisions. The Russians pushed the Austro-Hungarian army backwards in a series of engagements, including the Battle of Nila Lipa from the 26th to the 28th of August, the first victory of Russia's most successful great war general, Alexei Brusilov. The Russians pushed the Austrians back 160 kilometres to the Carpathian Mountains, where poor weather conditions and geography made the fighting very difficult. During the retreat, 127,000 Austro-Hungarian troops, as well as 18,000 civilians, took refuge in the fortress town of Premzel and were besieged by six Russian divisions for 133 days until the Austrians surrendered the town on the 22nd of March 1915. On the 2nd of May 1915, a combined Austro-Hungarian force launched a successful offensive between the towns of Golici and Tarnow in southeastern Poland, a feature of which was the largest artillery bombardment ever seen on the Eastern Front. The battle ended on the 10th of May, with the Russian Third Army having lost an estimated 412,000 killed and wounded or missing and a further quarter of a million prisoners. The Russians began what became known as the Great Retreat. On the 4th of June 1916, General Brusilov attacked a combined force of Austro-Hungarians, Germans and Ottomans in Galicia. The Russians had the advantage in artillery and training and forced the Central Powers back. The offensive did not bring forward the capitulation that Bruce Brusilov had planned for and ended on the 10th of August. Historians have argued it was the most costly in human lives of all the First World War battles. Losses were great, with the Russians losing about half a million casualties and the Central Powers 1.35 million men. In March 1917, Tsar Nicholas abdicated and a Russian Republic under Alexander Kerensky was formed. In June, the Russians attacked in Galicia, but the Germans at the same time advanced along the Baltic coast and in October 1917 were threatening Petrograd, the Russian capital. On the 7th of October, Russian Bolsheviks came to power and declared an armistice on the 16th of December 1917. Eastern Europe would be troubled by war and violence into the 1920s.